Prince Harry and Meghan Markle seem deathly quiet on this particular story, which really does invade their very private privacy in one way or another. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for your company today. Thank you for all those wonderful new subscribers. Hello and welcome. Thank you for enjoying the channel. Hope you're keeping well. This particular story does baffle me, I have to tell you. So as ever, we're moving forward with your royal story of the day. Now, there's a brand new problem, really, for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. As we all know, they're very quick, in fact, to kick on to their lawyers if there's something they don't particularly like. We saw recently, of course, Meghan, well, kind of lose this sort of victory which she had over the breakfast TV host when she complained about him to Ofcom. They overruled that, and now she's finding that not everything that she wishes does come true. But then we also had Prince Harry moaning on in interviews about, you know, invasion of privacy and peddling lies by the media, that sort of stuff. So this particular story does baffle me. This is simply because there's a brand new TV production which really does affect both him and her, if you're to believe their stories. This is the story, basically. It's Diana the Musical, and it's premiering on Netflix streaming service. Now, this musical opened up just before the pandemic on Broadway. It did okay. I did see elements of it, and I have to say, I wasn't particularly keen. There were about four or five musicals kicking around all about the late great princess. And for me, you know, I kind of think it's a little bit tacky. And as we know, it's not exactly a joyous story towards the end. So how on earth you spin that round, I've got no idea. But... That hasn't stopped Netflix filming this particular production, which, as I say, was on Broadway. Now, what's interesting to note, of course, that should it have been any other channel, perhaps Prince Harry may have come out and said, well, this is rather distasteful. But this is the dilemma now what he faces, having quit the British monarchy. As now with Netflix, along with many other deals that they have, they cannot attack or in fact give an opinion on anything because they are the paymaster. So, you know, for sure, I bet that uh, Netflix would love Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to comment on the musical. It would be great for them because, of course, if they said something, people might decide to stream it. Now, however distasteful the subject matter may be, it's interesting to note that Harry and Meghan have not stepped forward and even basically said they're looking forward to seeing it. It's not all bad, the songs are quite cheery, but as I say, it does appear that in the 25th anniversary, one would assume that it would be good to leave the late great princess to rest at least for a while, you know, stop capitalising on her. It does seem a little bit strange to me in many respects. But for Harry and Meghan, as ever, when it suits them, it's zip it. Neil Sean in the heart of London.